So hello guys, welcome to my channel and this is going to be my first video of this channel. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to implement 2D vector array in C++. So let's get started. So first, you need to, so first we're going to need to differentiate between arrays and vectors. Arrays are of static type, whereas vector are of, vectors are of dynamic type which means arrays cannot increase its size but ve vectors has ability to increase or decrease its size which has a huge advantage over applying matrix which have so let's start and see how to implement this so first I'm gonna put the boiler plate and then I'm gonna initialize a 2d vector array so the way to represent a 2D vector array is vector bracket vector moment and then another bracket. This is a general way to represent a 2D vector array. So in array we represent 2D array like this. And in vectors, we represent 2D array like this, and this is the name of the variable. So, next line, uh, sorry, so next line, I'm gonna declare a variable name as row. And then I'm gonna apply a for loop which will run from 0 to row and it will increment up to 2. And then I'm gonna apply an integer type variable named as column. So we imply it here column. Okay, that should look fine. And we will declare a 1D vector here so that we can take input, column input because the size of the column is varying. So we have to define an, another vector here. And then I'm gonna take column as input. And then I'm gonna use another for loop. It will column. Uh, let's say J. J. And J. So what is happening here we are gonna take input values which are gonna inside inside the column so let's let me describe you like one two three and then enter So we are gonna take these values 1, 2, 3 as input. So let's see how to implement this. So we're gonna define another variable of type int named as value. So we can take value input. Here we're gonna take value input same value. And then we're gonna push the values in the input type 1D array. So input dot push back. And we are passing 
वैल्यू एज एन आर्गूमेंट वैल्यूज एज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड देन वेन दिस लुक ऑन एंड इट हैज दीज थ्री वैल्यू इट हैज दीज थ्री वैल्यू स्टोर्ड इन दी इनपुट सो नेक्स्ट वी वन पुश दीज थ्री वैल्यूज इन टू द आउटपुट टू डी एरे सो वी कैन नॉट टाइप आउटपुट डॉट पुश बैक एंड एंड पास इनपुट एज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट सो दीज थ्री वैल्यूज आर गा पुश इन टू आउटपुट फंक्शन वेन दिस रूप विल एंड इट गा चेक द कंडीशन इज आई इज लेस दैन रो इज नॉट इफ इज इट नॉट देन द होल प्रोसेस गा रिपीट अगेन एंड हेयर एंड गा and here i have done a stupid mistake the in argument take row input so let's execute this code and see is my code working or not run code okay so first we are going to pass number of rows so let's imagine we are going to pass three rows and next we are going to pass how many columns do you want let's pass three columns okay first for first and pass one two three and then again we are going to pass the number of columns we want let's say four columns then one two three four and then again we are going to pass the number of columns let's say 3 again and then value will be 5 6 7 so here you can see the program has executed perfectly and now i'm going to print out all the values so let's code it printing out values which are stored in a 2d vector array is very simple just like implementation will be same as a normal array so let's code it for oh my god so here we are going to pass a function name as uh, output dot size function so it will return us so it will return the number of element in the vector and suppose if there are three elements and then it will uh, suppose if there are three elements and then it will gonna run up to two times oh sorry three times but from 0 to 2 not 0 to 3 okay and then we are going to implement one more for loop it will be a nested for loop in uh, print let's say j less than output dot sign Okay. Then we are gonna see out output. I go to J. So let's see if it's working fine or not. Uh, let's. Pass in a little statement here. See out handle. Uh, 
the number of rows to be 3 number of elements in the first row will be let's be 4 1 2 3 4 number of elements in the second row will be let's say 6 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then next will be let's say 2 3 4 let's see oh sorry guys i have done a small mistake over here we are gonna pass here i oh, sorry ha. i have an input here let's run it guys 3 the heck? Okay, a number of rows will be three, and number of columns will be three. Let's say one, two, three. And next will be four. Let's say one, two, three, four. Next, next one will be two, one, two. And here you can see guys and here you can see guys we have created a variable size matrix and that is it for today and I'm gonna see you in next video and if you have any confusion related to this particular video please write me down in the comment section I will definitely reply you and I will see you in next video bye bye